Ryan Sessegnon showed just why just why there is such a clamour of him to get an England call-up as he fired Fulham into the Wembley Championship playoff final. Eddie Sessegnon opened the scoring for Fulham Fulham had struggled against an inspired derby defence and a super show from Scott Carson until the 17-year-old smashed home his 16th goal of an incredible campaign two minutes into the second half. And Sessegnon set up Dennis O'Doy on 66 minutes to put Fulham ahead in the tie as Craven Cottage erupted. The Cottagers had been thwarted, just like they had at Pride Park, by the Rams' resolute defense in the first half. Derby gave them next to no space to play but they nearly took the lead early on. Sessegnon saw his effort saved by former England keeper Carson after running onto Abubakar Kamara's pass. At the other end Andy Wyman saw a half-volley go just wide before Alexander Mitrovic shot straight at Carson following a 1-2 with Sessegnon. Fulham had never won a playoff match in seven attempts and it looked like being another frustrating night for them as Derby took their time over throw-ins and goal kicks. The PFA have confirmed their championship team of the year. Getty but Gary Rowett's side were hanging on as Fulham dominated. Stefan Johansson's powerful effort went just wide while the hosts had penalty appeals waved away following a Curtis Davies handball. On loan Newcastle Ace Mitrovic's frustrations continued as his glancing header from Ryan Fredericks cross went just wide. And the Serbian then saw a right-footed effort go wide from the edge of the area following great work by Sesenjan. Mitrovic went close again as another shot on the turn missed its target as the Craven Cottage crowd got edgy. Kamara, making his first appearance since January 13, was then denied by Carson after running onto a long throw from his own goal by Marcus Bettinelli. But it was Carson who showed the form that made him an England goalkeeper with a brilliant one-handed stop to keep out Mitrovic's header from target's cross just before the break. Getty Dennis O'Doy netted Fulham's second goal it was enough to knock the stuffing out of Fulham but instead it inspired them. They needed less than two minutes after the restart for Sessegnon to take his chance after Johansson had chested down target's cross. It had Fulham's famous old ground buzzing but they needed Bettinelli to be at his best at the other end and to keep out an effort from Bradley Johnson with his legs. Dramatically the hosts took control of the tie with Sessegnon's superb corner headed into the far corner from the near post by then more unlikely source of centre-back O.D.O.I. Suddenly Fulham could dream about a return to the Premier League after a four-year absence and short trip to Wembley. Meanwhile, Sessegnon must be hoping against hope for a phone call from Gareth Southgate on this evidence. Related Articles